I'm going to show a scenario where using InfoPath and SharePoint workflows can enable efficient business processes. Here I have a HR portal site, which includes some links, such as requesting holiday and claiming expenses. Let's say that I'm an employee of this company and I want to book some time off. I click the holiday request link and get taken to this form. Some of the fields are automatically populated based on my username. To enable me to show all stages of the process, I'm using a demo list which states that my manager is myself. In a real life situation, this form could look to Active Directory or a company database to populate the form with accurate data. I'll use the date picker controls to pick the start and end dates of my holiday. And I can enter a reason. As the employee, that's my part of the process over. Now it's up to my manager. The manager will get assigned a task to approve or reject the request. SharePoint will automatically send me an email telling me that I've got a task. This will link to the task and to the form. I can also go to the document library where these forms are submitted. As the manager, I'll open up this form in InfoPath. I'm informed that I have a task associated with this document. I click on this button and I get taken to the task in SharePoint. I have the option to approve or reject the request. If I clicked reject, the employee would be informed via email. Instead, I'll click choose approve. Now I'll go to the team's holidays calendar. This is the calendar as it was before I sent out the form. If I refresh, we have a new request added. The holiday has automatically been added to the team calendar so that members of that team can see that the person is away. Let's have a look at this workflow in SharePoint Designer. The workflow is fairly straightforward. There are just two steps. The first step has no conditions attached, which means that all three actions will happen every time the workflow is run. First off, the manager is assigned a task, which is to give the information required. The second action takes that information and sets it as a workflow variable. The third action is setting a time for the date which was given as the end of the holiday. The reason for this is that SharePoint automatically treats a date as being that date and midnight of that day. If I didn't set this time value, then the holiday would end at the start of the day rather than including that date. The second step has a condition attached. If the approval status collected from the manager equals reject, then an email is sent to the employee informing them of the decision and the workflow is stopped. On the other hand, if the approval status is approved, then a new item is created in the team holidays list using the values taken from the form. So there you see that a simple workflow in conjunction with an InfoPath form can make regular processes go a lot quicker.